Hello everyone and welcome to this presentation on an overview of Semantic Media Wiki. What we hope to do in this presentation is to demonstrate to you what Semantic Media Wiki can do and why you may want to use it or you may want to incorporate it into your business. So firstly, what is Semantic Media Wiki? Well, Semantic Media Wiki is an extension that integrates with Media Wiki. Um, if you don't know what MediaWiki is, MediaWiki is a, an open source uh, wiki application that many uh, websites use. Um, the most famous one, of course, being Wikipedia. So like MediaWiki, Semantic MediaWiki is open source. It's been going since 2005 and it's run by a large number of volunteers. Um, and such is the popularity of Semantic Media Wiki, there's a number of consultancy companies that have uh, formed that uh, offer that service uh, to businesses because it's become such a popular content management system. Um, and what Semantic Media Wiki does is it turns information into data. Now, understanding this concept of turning information into data is what we're going to try and explain. It can be a slightly difficult concept. But once you understand it and see its benefit, then you can understand why Semantic Media Wiki is so popular. So let's get on. So what do I mean about turning information into data? Well, let's take a page from Wikipedia. And this is Arsenal Football Club, a uh, UK Premiership football club. And this page has a lot of information about the club, um, all the way from its history of the club, um, but also current status in terms of the capacity of the stadium, who the current manager is and where they finished in the league. Now, if I asked you a very simple question about Arsenal, for example, uh, can, their, can their stadium hold over 60,000? Who is their current manager or what position did they, uh, what position did they, uh, they come in last year? You'd be able to read this and you'd be able to extract that information. Now, interestingly, a computer wouldn't. This is just a bunch of text. So first of all, what Semantic Media Wiki can do is allow you to turn that information into computer readable information. Now, first of all, you may ask, what's the point in that? I can just read that information. But what if you have multiple sources of data? So let's, for example, take all the football clubs. When I start asking you more complex questions, for example, how many of the stadiums can hold between 20 and 40,000? You'd have to go through all these clubs and go through the pages and work out that information. Again, that information is possible to find out, but actually the more and more complex the questions get, the more difficult it becomes to be able to answer those questions. And of course, if that information is changing, stadiums get upgraded or so on, um, that then becomes a greater challenge. And this is what Semantic Media Wiki allows you to do. So it allows you to turn that information into data. And so it can be read by a computer and then can be you can create queries so it can extract that information. So let's take another information view here. Now, this is an information view within uh, uh, Wikipedia. And somebody has actually created this table by typing it out. So they've worked out the position that every, club's, uh, every club came in last year um, when they were first in the top fly. And you can see that there's a bunch of information here that, that uh, people have found interesting. So if those pages were stored in Semantic Media Wiki, then you would be able to automatically generate this table or any other tables or any other queries depending on the data that you've collected about that. Now, I've just used uh, a football clubs here. Now, you could use this, of course, for anything. This could be whether you want to uh, put libraries against your books, whether you want to understand the processes within your organization. So really, Semantic Media Wiki is that platform where you can build the information, turn it into data, and query that information. And it becomes a really powerful bespoke software that can be designed for your business. So let's give a few examples of how other companies are using Semantic Media Wiki. As you can probably see by now, Semantic Media Wiki is a really powerful tool for managing your information and storing it as data. But you don't just have to display that data as tables. You can use all sorts of ways of getting the information that you have across to your customer. So let's just take a few examples of how different companies are using 
uh, semantic media wiki and presenting their information. So for example, you could display your information on a map. Um, each of these pins could represent assets you have with further information as you drill down on those pins. There's a really good talk which we'll link to, which is by the NASA EVA team who talk about how they managed all the information they had. They had, they had personnel there with years of experience and they wanted to make sure that this information, their knowledge wasn't lost when they moved on. You can display the information in calendars if you've got events. Again, there may be metrics that you're capturing. So all the, what we're not trying to demonstrate here is this specific information. What we want to show to you is if you've got information that people want to uh, want to have display of, there are numbers of ways a semantic media wiki can do that for you. Here again is a control chart, so it's giving you the um, upper and lower specifications and showing if anything's, uh, if anything's gone about. So that's a really powerful tool for engineers to have a look at and see and try and understand why, why things haven't met their target. But you can use it for uh, for the business benefit as well in terms of uh, personnel, feedback, all sorts of ways of, of actually collating information within your organization and then presenting it in easy to read formats. So as you can see, Semantic Media Wiki uh, allows you to turn that information into data, it allows you to then display that data to the stakeholders in, in whatever format that they want. But also, you may be wondering, how do I collect this information? How do I ensure the information I gather has, uh, has the uh, integrity required to be able to, to query it? Well, the other feature of Semantic Media Wiki is it allows you to create forms. So these forms then dictate how the information is captured, how the information has to be input into Semantic Media Wiki. Now, I'll give you a few examples. I'll show you a few examples here. Now, again, these are just examples, and, and there's numbers of ways. This is absolutely not exhaustive, and there, and there are hundreds of ways that you can create forms and you can, you can specify the information that you want to capture. So you can you can have forms that uh, that have drop down menus. They can be um, they can have attachments to them. Uh, so they they're absolutely uh, clear in terms of what they're relating to. You can make sure forms that information is only selected from a list. So it can be it can be you can tick these various things, uh, or it could be a drop down menu. Again, um, it, it, it allows you to ensure that the information that you capture is in the format that you want it, so therefore you can uh, query it and, and display it. Another example that I've seen which is to actually collate your minutes. So if you had, so then you'd have a continuous record of the decisions made within your organization. And again, you could have these minutes li linking to the people, the decisions that could be linking to uh, issues that have been uh, highlighted previously. So you can understand why those, why those decisions were made and how they related. But again, there's, there's, an, there's hundreds of ways you can create forms that then will enable you to display that data and capture that information within your business. We hope you've enjoyed this overview of Semantic Media Wiki and now understand the concept of turning information into data. As you can see, Semantic Media Wiki can become this bespoke software solution or content management solution to your organization, enabling you to exploit the information you have and make better informed business decisions. What we'll include is a number of links to the uh, documents we've referred to and further information about Semantic Media Wiki, should you want to read it. We'll also have an ability to offer feedback so please do tell us what you want to see and we'll try to meet those requirements so thank you very much for listening